Hey guys, hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. I am so excited to bring you guys this video. It's gonna be super quick. In my last video, the Eco Sour Gel, from a chemist perspective, I saw a lot of your questions and your comments and everything, and it was just so awesome to see the dialogue. There's some, there's a lot of comments that I couldn't even get to, but um, one of the things that I kept seeing was there's such a question on different ingredients and just different information. And I feel like this is stuff that you guys should have access to. You guys should have access to what in the world you're buying, what in the world you're putting on your hair, and it's so important. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys a list that as chemists, we have to abide by this list. When we are creating new formulations and new skin and hair care products, there are certain guidelines and regulations that we have to stick to. And the one that stands out to me right now is Prop 65. Now, if you've never heard of Prop 65, Prop 65 is literally a list of chemicals that are known for causing cancer, reproductive issues, and birth defects. Now, this list was established back in the 1980s in California, and the purpose of this list was for, it's like a list for consumers so that they can be informed of when they are purchasing an ingredient, or excuse me, purchasing a product that has an ingredient that causes cancer. So if that is the case, there's like a Prop 65 warning label on the actual product itself. Now, of course, these labels are only in California. However, we have access to this list. Even you have access to this list. This is public knowledge, and so it's a search database. You can go in, type in any ingredient that you're kind of wondering about, and see if it's on this list. See what it, you know, why it's on this list. And it'll tell you, like, such and such, known for causing birth defects, such and such, known for causing this, for that, or whatever. Now, once again, I will say this. Research is really like, research literally takes years and years to establish something causes something. You know, there may be some data here and there, but there has to be a certain amount of data to say this is what it is. You know, so it's just so much in it. Um, you'll read one thing and then you'll read another thing and it says the opposite so it's just so much involved But besides that I find prop 65 like the list to be super helpful Especially when it comes to formulating skin and hair care products So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys I'm going to make another video soon on like toxicology and percentages and even like skin irritations like why certain ingredients causes your eyes to burn and what does that mean and da 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 like all of this is good stuff I feel like needs to be out there and I'm so excited to be able to share this information with you guys so I hope this was helpful don't forget to rate this video comment below and subscribe and uh, yeah I'm coming out with a website very soon I'm super excited about that like I'm so ready to launch this website y'all like I'm so ready but things have to be in order but you can sign up below in the email link to be the first to know when it launches so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye